Hello. So I don't know what I'm feeling this morning. I don't know if I'm feeling a soft look. I don't know if I'm feeling zazzy and doing something crazy. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's been an interesting morning, to say the least. So my husband's in surgery currently. He's okay. Nothing like lethal is wrong. He's just getting a hernia removed, but makes for a bit of a stressful morning. So we're gonna put on a face. So you know what? I've been using a lot of my Morphe 35H, my hotspot palette. I want to give some other palettes some love. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know. Hmm. While I'm deciding on this, how are you guys doing? How are we all doing today? I hope we're doing good. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're doing good. I hope your mental health is good. Y'all, I just don't know. I just don't know. You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna be crazy. We're gonna be a little crazy. We're just gonna do a soft look today. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take this little brush. I don't know what it's called, but oh, there's still some foundation on that. Get that out of there. I'm not the best with keeping my brushes clean. <laughs> But we're going to go into my Morphe 35S, the Such a Gem palette. Oh, oh. When I saw this come out, I died. I died on the inside. So we... Actually, I need to lay a base. Hold on. We're going to take my trusty 35I palette, the Ice Fantasy, or Icy Fantasy. We're going in with our Secret Escape, which is our trusty pale right there. Makes for some... Good blending, yes, yes, good blending indeed. Ah, so let's catch y'all up. It's been an interesting couple few weeks. My mental health has taken a tank, like a massive tank. Oh man. So when I used to live with my mom, I was drinking a lot. And I mean, I was drinking a lot. It wasn't interfering with work or anything. It wasn't really interfering with really anything. It was just I'd get off work, down two bottles of wine. <laughs> and that kind of started to be a problem for a bit because I was like, I don't like drinking this much. I didn't really like how the alcohol made me feel after a while. It was a good fix for two seconds. And then it was like, <clears throat> and then we found weed. Weed, honestly, did help my anxiety. It really did. It did help my depression. It D did also it massively helped my insomnia that's mainly the reason I was smoking it was insomnia but it got to where I was just using it too much it would it kind of became a dependency thing you know I got anxious take a hit got depressed take a hit instead of trying to actually figure out what's wrong and fix it we're just putting a band-aid on it so I've decided to go cold turkey from weed and alcohol we're not doing either of those anymore I'm thinking maybe CBD, but I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I'm, st I'm still on the fence with that one. I did use CBD before I started smoking weed, and it, it did help. It really did. didn't necessarily help me with my insomnia, but it helped with everything else that goes on up here. So we'll see what happens. But for now, it's interesting being sober. It's day two of sobriety. I have not been sleeping well at all. My insomnia has really kicked in. Um, but we're quickly going to go in here with Posh Boss, with, uh, which is this nice muted purple gray. We're just going to take that in here. But it's been interesting trying to go to sleep. Insomnia, it's a bitch. It truly is a bitch. I will be tired and then I'll lay down. Brands like, you're going to remember every single fucking thing you've done wrong in your life. And it's like... Thanks. I really needed that. <laughs> really needed that kick in the junk. But you know, it's cool. It's whatever. We're making do. I don't know what's... I don't even know about work. Man, I just... I don't know. It's my insomnia. Hi, Abby! How are you? We're just... We're right in the middle of doing some makeup. Got some more people in here. Yay. But it... It was getting pretty bad. It's it's getting a little annoying. I've tried taking some sleeping pills. They just make me tired. 
that's about it. They don't put me to sleep. They don't keep me asleep. So it's like, okay, what's what's that about? What, what, why? Why? <laughs> and it's like I debated last night on taking more than two of my sleeping pills. And I was like, let's not do that. It's not worth it. We don't want to get addicted to those because that's apparently our thing. So it's it's been interesting. Um, Now... I know this was supposed to be a soft glam, but we're getting we're getting funky. So we're gonna go in with plums up, which is this gorgeous plum color. I'm loving it. We're just gonna still using that same little little doodle brush. We're just gonna put that in that crease. Actually, this still is kind of a soft glam look. Now that I think about it, it's not you know super crazy. So sorry about that. <laughs> the uh, hospital called. My husband just got out of surgery. Went perfect. Thank the Lord. Oh my goodness. I was, my mind was going dark this morning. I'm like, he's going to die. It's just a simple operation, but he's going to die. We're fine now. It's cool. I get, they're going to call me again in an hour so I could go pick him up. I got the room clean, got the bed made, all laundry's done. All he has to do is just come home and relax, which is what I want. So that is good. Good, good, good. Yay, I'm super happy. So a cop out, I think it was about a year and a half ago, this hernia showed up. We didn't honestly know what it was until a couple months, well, actually a couple weeks ago, honestly. Um, we were doing the deed, you know, and then all of a sudden he had a searing pain in his groin. And I'm like, did we go too hard? We went to the hospital like a couple times, went to the doctor a couple times. They, had, they literally said they had no idea what it was. Wouldn't do any testing. And I'm like, we need to know what this is. Like, for real, what is this? Because <laughs> it got to where he couldn't take any of his medication because it would make his groin hurt. And we're like, what is happening? So we moved down to Nampa and we got new doctors and all that good stuff. First time we went in, they're like, it's a hernia. And we're like... You did that in two seconds. How? <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. That's interesting. So I am so happy that that's done. Yay. That was a huge stressor for me. So we're going to take our Morphe Icy Palette again, and we're just going to go with that pale shade with a clean blending brush. We're just going to blend out the top. Nice and, nice and light. Nothing chaotic. Just something... Easy, get it nice and blended. I want a little bit more purple. I want a little bit more purple. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got, ooh, you know what? I love this color because the shimmer. So we're going in with Purple Majesty, which is this really pretty orchid color with some lavender sparkle to it. So we're just going just gonna to add that in there. Just going to add that in there. Oh, yes, that is what I wanted. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, okay, loving it. Hmm, maybe just a tiny bit more. There we go. There we go. So we're just going to add a tiny bit of bougie, which is this pink right here to the crease, just to give it a little bit of a... A soft color. Nothing nothing crazy, you know. We're about that crazy life here, but not today. Not today. Mm. And then just because I'm a bitch with blending, we're just going to blend that out again. Because I said so. Yeah. Ta. That's about it. But yeah, everything's been decent the past couple weeks. Still not quite sure what's going on with work yet. Uh, I have not been able to hold a job since I got fired from Domino's. It's like, hmm, even though that was my own damn fault. Don't steal kids. It's not good. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I ended up um, meeting an Instacart gal when I was working with them. She found a way to do the same thing that I was doing at Domino's. I won't say what it was, just so I don't get myself in more trouble. 
but she was doing the same thing and I'm like you're gonna get caught it's not worth it you are gonna get caught and you're gonna get arrested and she's like oh no it's fine didn't see her anymore after that so I was like oh and she was one that I regularly saw too in the store so it was like told you less lesson learned the hard way honestly don't steal uh let's see mm. Mm -mm. I got so many purples to choose from. I just don't even. So we're going to go in. What are you? It's violet. This almost kind of like a metallic lavender. I'm just going to take that on my little packing brush here. If I can get some up. There we go. Oh my. Hold on. Bitches need some setting spray for this. There we go. Dab, dab, dab. That's better. Just put that on that outer corner. We're going to do the same to the other eye. Hello. We're all up close and personal here today, kids. How are we doing? But I'll admit, I have really enjoyed being on Reddit the past couple months. I've started posting a lot of my art stuff there. I love the community. I love the community. Sure, you occasionally you have those dinguses, but knock on wood, I haven't had any of those dinguses comment on my stuff. I haven't had anybody be rude. Everyone's just been really supportive and really nice. Especially with my post yesterday about sobriety. Everyone was so supportive. Oh my god, it was amazing. It was, I almost cried because I did not imagine to have that type of sport. It was, it was amazing. It was like, oh, I have my husband and these other people? Dude, fuck yeah. So we're, we're doing good with sobriety so far. Um, I've had a headache past couple days, but you know, that is what it is. I'm pretty certain I should probably cut caffeine out of my diet because this morning I had a cup of coffee and I was like, oh my god, I have to do everything right now. <laughs> put me immediately into some hypomania and it's like I'm not about that life right now I don't want that <laughs> that's not what we need oh I'm so sorry we are taking what are you total goals which is this lavender right here the camera does not do it justice but it's really pretty just put a little bit of setting spray on the brush tap 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 and we're gonna do the same with the other eye. Just tap that in there, tap it in. But on a side note, I'm, oh yeah, I like that, that's pretty. We possibly are getting an RV. I don't know 100%. My husband loves it, I absolutely love it but we're looking at it through rose tinted glasses still so we're waiting for a for my husband to be home from surgery <laughs> but b probably this weekend to take my father-in-law out with us to look at it just to get his opinion because he has a really good opinion with things and it's like we need an outside thought on this because <laughs> it's like oh no so we're gonna actually get a little funky Actually, I lied. We're not going to get funky. We're going to go back in with plums up, that plum color. We're just going to take my little dabber doodle brush, is what I call it, and we're just going to put them on that under eye. Just a bit. Nothing chaotic. trying to like look in the phone to do my makeup it's like uh that's not gonna work but I honestly think y'all I'm becoming agoraphobic like yesterday I really wanted to take a walk like just a simple walk around the block you know but my husband wouldn't go with me because he so he had to take a COVID test before he had a surgery he's it came back negative he's not sick which is great I, I knew that already but he couldn't go outside. And the idea for a split second of me leaving my home alone scared me so bad I almost cried. And my husband's like, it's just a walk outside. And I'm like, no, it's not, you don't understand. <laughs> it's, 
it's got bad. Oh man. And I know 90% of it's in my head, you know, and it's like, I know it's my anxiety. It doesn't help that COVID's going on. It doesn't help that we have Karen's ruling the world. Darren's ruling the world. I'm just, oh, I'm just a little broken at the moment. Y'all, it's just a little broken. It's okay. I'm not, you know, am I feeling a wing today? I think I'm feeling a small wing. Let's do a tiny little wing. My trusty Revlon liquid liner, yes. All right, y'all. See if I can do this. I really, really want to try the, um, what is it called? House liquid liner? I think that's what it's called, if I remember right. Uh, Lady Gaga's line of makeup. I would love getting my hands on her liquid liner. Mainly because it doesn't run, like, not run out, but you can make a straight line. And it just keeps going. It doesn't dry out or nothing. Oh, look at that cute little wing. All right, now the fun part, kids. Can I replicate it on the other eye? <laughs> We're going to find out. It's going to be a surprise. Oh my god, I did. I'm actually really happy. That's that's a rarity for me to get both eyes decent. Usually this one's while the other one's on fleek. All right, let's just fill in that lid. Beautimous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. There are days I'm just like, how you doing? Hi, hey. <laughs> now yesterday I put this weird, okay, it wasn't weird. It was really pretty color. I put blue on my brow bone. I always like to put something on my brow bone just because I'm extra and I don't wear foundation. So it's like my way of highlighter. But I put blue on it. <laughs> Ooh. It, it was interesting, to say the least. I looked like an alien. But we're going to go into the inner corner. We're actually going to take, oh, yes, this pink. It's camera doesn't do it justice, but it's a really nice, hot, iridescent pink. We're just going to get that on our little packer brush. We're just going to pat that in. Ooh, ooh, she cute. She is cute. Yes. Oh, everything's falling. Okay. Now the brow bone. The brow bone. We are going to go for here for it, which is, it looks white, but it's kind of like a rosy lavender. It's really pretty, really subtle. Taking my favorite little brush. <laughs> I don't know what I don't I don't actually know what that brush is called. We're just gonna scoop some of that up. We're just gonna take it to the brow bone. Just a nice little little touch. Mm. Yes, queen work. Alright. We are blended. We have our wing. I just have to do a couple things real quick. Get my makeup situated. Excuse me. Let's get these eyebrows combed. Oh, where is my mascara? Now, we all know. Excuse me. I die for the Roller Lash Benefit, or Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Tongue twister. I've tried wearing fake eyelashes. They're okay. I wear contacts, so I find it really hard for me to wear. Um fake lashes because it's either it makes my blinks too heavy and it makes my contacts rotate or they just don't feel good on my eyes honestly and I've tried a couple different ones I've tried the glue on ones I've tried the magnetic ones and it's just like I don't really care for having glue near my eye I'm really not a fan of that and I didn't really care for the magnetic 
because it was just too close to my eye for me. So that is why I love this stuff because it gives me that fake lash look without actually putting on fake lashes. And then we all know my secret. I like to take some setting spray and I like to take a clean mascara wand to give that a good spritz. And we just comb through. A, it helps the mascara set a little bit better and B, gives you the opportunity to unstick all those little dudes that decided to stick together. Just rubbing across my eyebrows because I feel like it. <sighs> you know, get some of that fall off. We're ready. Now some Jeffree Star spray. Oh. Now I all I know the whole Jeffree Star debacle. I still love Jeffree Star. I absolutely love his products. I've never tried any of his products, to be completely honest, but I still think he's a fantastic person. Everyone's made mistakes. Not everyone's a good human being. Everyone has that moment to where they're just an asshole or whatever, and then they apologize and they change. I think Jeffree did his apology perfectly. I think he's still a good person. Did he make a mistake? Yeah. But hey, that's just my two cents on it. But I'm so bummed that they're no longer collabing with Morphe. I was so looking forward to many, many palettes with Jeffrey and Morphe. Because I love Morphe. I love Jeffrey. Combine the two. It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But here's the look, guys. Nice little gentle, soft glam. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Reddit. Um, but I hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.